Hi everyone, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Bonjour tout le monde. Um, I was unable to go thrift in the last few days. Uh, first of all, I was sick for a few days and then we had uh, not an ice storm, but lots of ice pellets and freezing rain. So eh -eh, I'm not going out in that temperature. And then uh, for the last couple of days, I don't have my car. So I wasn't able to go. So, uh, long story short, uh, last summer I moved into this new place and all my inventory at the other place had to be packed, obviously, in, in boxes and bins and some of them went magically, <laughs> magically disappeared. But a couple weeks ago I went to my locker and I found one and I have not opened it yet. I don't even remember what's in there because I think some of those items, uh, first of all, they were never processed, and um, some of them I don't, they're not from last year's garage sale, they might be from the year before. That's how much behind I was. So I was able to catch up quite a bit since I retired this past August, but uh, I'm glad that I found this. So the bin is, you know, I usually have transparent bins so I can see what my things are um, but they're all wrapped up so I have no idea so we'll go thrifting in my own living room for this week and uh, see what's in that bin let's dig in okay so I opened the bin so on top I had a whole bunch of magazines old ones uh, this is a people magazine from April 24 1989 with uh, the uh, royal scandal. <laughs> so if there's any uh, royal collectors of the British monarchy, there you go. <laughs> we have a couple more of the British uh, monarchy uh, things. Hang on a second. This is Majesty. It's called Majesty. One is uh, dated of... Uh -huh. What's the date on this? Well, it was in August. I don't know, I can't see the date. Well, anyway, it was Andrew and Fergie, so that's a while ago. And then uh, this one is volume eight, number eight, uh, with Princess Di. So that was pre-1997, uh, before she unfortunately passed away. There's a couple of uh, Life magazines. This one, I think, is uh, something that people would really Collectors for uh, the John F. Kennedy, so that was the memorial edition from Life magazine. And uh, this one is the death of Robert Kennedy from the Life magazine. So these are original. This one, see, is dated of 1968. And then this one is just a local Montreal Star Weekend magazine dated of August 1976. So, so that's that. Okay, let's go see what we got in there. <laughs> okay, surprise, surprise. Oh yeah, I remember this. So yeah, those items have never been processed at all. So this is a glass chicken in amber color. That's really nice. And what does it say here? Okay, see, Sky McGee. So there we go. So that's definitely vintage. That's cute. I have here. Okay, that's a Minnie Mouse mug from Disney Parks. Authentic original merchandise from Disney. It's in really good condition too. Those are all items that I picked up at um, garage sales. Uh, I think it was all the same summer and yeah, I don't think it's last summer, it's the one before. So they have been nicely packed for a long time. It's just so nothing is broken during the move. Uh, <laughs> This is cute too. This is perfect for like Father's Day if you want to make a good joke. Old croaker. So you got the, the frog and then this is the back of the frog. It's very nice condition. 
shiny black. There's no markings underneath, but uh, as a good joke for dad or grandpa, that's a good, uh, it's a good item, not expensive, and makes a nice present. Every time they drink their coffee in the morning, they'll think about you, calling them old Crocker. <laughs> this is a little doggy, and if I remember correctly, this is a little cup with dogs, all sorts of dogs. That's really cute. Let me just see. I think there's one that was, yeah, that's the one. As a matching set here, one's dogs, the other one are all kittens. So that's cute. And it is signature collection. Very cute. There we go. Don't break. <laughs> then I have. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Oh, just in time for Easter, too. These were a whole bunch of um, eggs. They're not. They're wood, I think. They're painted wood or papier mache or something like that. So there's these two here with a nice flower on both sides. And then this one is more like a, uh, a, a ethnic pattern to it. It is matte and this one is shiny. So there's those two, but there's more. I think I have five or six of them here. Hang on, I'll put those there. This one here. That's really cute too. They're maple leaves. Huh. They're maple leaves. Cute. And then this one as well is wood. Most probably like in, from Latin America. Very nice items for collectors. And yeah, <clears throat> there's two more. Another one that is similar to the other one, but not the same at all. Cute flowers. And then this one as well. Yeah, so six of them. Um, I might pair some of them together that are, that are similar, like the three wooden ones, I might pair them to, uh, sorry, sometimes you see me, sometimes you don't, sorry. So see, those three might be lotted together as a as a bundle and maybe the other three as well because they're all in this similar um, golden with flowers or leaves on it so I don't know yet I might do it separately I don't know to be determined okay what else do we have here what is this oh yeah okay so the this is the uh, the top of uh, a bottle. See, it's a face, it's a little guy's face, and I know, if I remember correctly, it's some side, a car, and that sits on top. Grab it right here. This is from, made in Italy. I can tell that, but I don't know, I can't read the other part. But yeah, see? He's in his little car, a little truck. And it is a glass stopper. If it's a plastic uh, stopper, then you know it's more uh, modern. But since it's glass on glass, this is definitely vintage. So that is probably something that a bottle collector will go for. Uh, so, oh good, I'm happy I found that one. There we go. And then, oh yeah, Big Mouth ba uh, Billy Bass. And um, he sings, if I remember, he sings uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy. But the thing is that I think, if I remember this guy, yeah, there is a corrosion inside. And um, I'm gonna try to clean it. I was told that I can clean it with a Q-tip and a little bit of um, uh, 
paste that you make with uh, baking soda and water. So I'll try that, but uh, otherwise it might be sold as is, which unfortunately will bring the price down quite a bit uh, because these, uh, these go quick and uh, they go for a good price usually. So mistake and lesson learned, don't buy something with batteries in it. And the second part of this is open the darn thing and check. Check, make sure the batteries have not corroded. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Maybe some uh, people are very uh, clever with uh, being able to, not clever, but they're talented to fix this up and bring it back to life. This is, oh, there, oh yeah, okay. These are, uh, this one here anyway, is the hot chili pepper apron. Nice for barbecue time if you make some Mexican food. And you got pockets up front as a tie at the waist as well. Oh, that's good. Well, perfect for barbecue time. And this one, oh yeah. I remember this. And all these things, like I paid a uh, dollar, two dollars, three dollars for these things. Garage sales are the best. They're <laughs> it's like the best thing since sliced bread, I think. I love going to garage sales. I still have at least two and a half months to go before that snow can melt and that we can start having warm weather enough, a warm weather enough to go garage sailing. But usually it starts, well, in Canada, you never know. But usually, you know, by, by mid to end April, they start slowly if there's no more snow or, but it's, it's a roll of the dice every year with the temperature here, so. Okay, so back to business. This apron is blinged out. It, it's a very nice, uh, thick, weaved type of fabric, like linen almost. And uh, the, the waist has been embroidered with gold uh, thread, as well as there's embroidery at the bottom with all sorts of bling bling there. It's really cute. It's actually pretty heavy. It's got a good weight to it, so um, yeah different. I thought that would be good. So we'll see. I will list it soon. All these things. My goal is to have them listed before the next couple of weeks. So fingers crossed. Um, this, if I remember correctly, that was like, she sold them to me for like 50 cents. They are book uh, holders, bookends. That's the word I'm looking for bookends and uh, so it's like uh, what do you call that? Une épée? A sword. There you go. I had to say it in French before <laughs> and then translate in my head. So yeah, they're swords. So it's almost like uh, there, yeah, there's pictures of knights here you can see. So anyone who's into the medieval uh, decor or anything medieval that would be uh, Nice addition. They're made of, this is wood obviously, but, and then there's metal here on the sides, and then there's, this is all metal as well. Not brass, but it's metal. And then, oh, these don't match, but uh, oh, awfully tarnished because it's been there for a while. This is a, this is another royal thing. I think it's like a, come up, I can't say the word, I'm sorry. Commemorative? <laughs> That's the word, okay? Just re-say it your own way with, without the accent there. Commemorative. Com commemorative? <laughs> Silver spoon. Um, most likely made in England, I would say. I can't, it's so tarnished, I can't tell. I can't read the words behind, but uh, you can see that's the queen. I think that's the coronation of the, of the queen. So that's like long, long time ago. And then this one, I have no idea. This is a fork, also badly tarnished and the silver, like the other one. 
but I don't know this model. If anyone knows the model, let me know. And those two. Then there's a bunch of DVDs. I mean, they still sell. I do sell VHS. I don't, you know, like I don't use the VHS. I don't even have a DVD player anymore because everything, you know, with Crave and Netflix and all that jazz, I mean, I don't need it. But there's people that do collect them. So the first one here is um, Birdcage. With, uh, it's open, yeah, it's open. With uh, Robin Williams. I remember seeing this movie. Oh, the reflection is not too good here. Here we go, we'll put it this way. So Bird Cage, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. I went to the uh, cinema who is playing that every Friday night at midnight. And I was, I don't know, about 16. And I was going to see that every week. So I don't know if people are picking up on what I'm saying. And I would sing the songs and I would get dress, dressed up. So yeah, yeah, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I loved, I loved, I loved. I went to see the musical and uh, I, I try to watch it every year around Halloween time. I still know all the songs. I'm not good at singing, my daughter is, but I'm not good at singing, but I sing them anyway. And uh, this one is open, I, uh, not open, I think it's brand new. Okay, so this is uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. That too, I remember going to the cinema to see this in like 1974 or so. Yeah, that guy was beautiful. He made a beautiful Jesus. Okay, uh, next we have uh, some Broadway because uh, we are a Broadway family. My, one of my daughters is a musical theater major and she, her dream is to go to Broadway one day. Right now, we enjoy watching her on stage wherever she plays and um, we uh, like to watch movies about Broadway too. So there's Hairspray, there's, uh, of course, Classic, Whoop. again the reflection, Phantom of the Opera. Oh, that, well that's Broadway, but that was the original movie, Beetlejuice. My daughter actually wanted, when she was about 10 or 11 years old, her dream was to actually write a uh, Broadway show about Beetlejuice because she was this teeny wheeled little thing and she was saying Broadway should put up the show Beetlejuice and did we know that a few years later they would do it? Mm -mm. Weekend at Bernie's. That's a good one. Classic. Funny. If you have a couple of glasses of wine and you watch that you'll be on the floor. And uh, that is the best of Broadway musical with uh, Original cast performance from the Ele uh, Ed Sullivan show. Wow, that's old. That's like, my dad used to watch that show when I was a little teeny weeny thing, which is a zillion years ago. And then this is the last of, no, it's not the last, there's one more thing. Progressive, progressive Steps to Syncopation? from the modern drummer. So it's a music book for a drummer. That must be, I don't know, those notes are very complicated. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it is a book about drumming, music book. And then the last thing is, still in box, I remember that garage sale actually, the lady, uh, Never use that. So the box here just says it all, but uh oh, uh, reflection right there. And there are two glasses. Actually, it's good timing for Mother's Day. Keep that in mind. But they're uh, they're cute little glasses. Mom, uh, can you see it? Mom's fuel. And then the matching one in the box, but it's all uh, gold leopard print. So that's really cute. So let's see them together. These glass needs washing. I'm sorry, but I, I just unpacked them. So those are cute. 
okay. So that was it. And uh, this is not something I'm going to do on a regular basis because I don't move every week. But um, I thought that would be a nice uh, compromise to the fact that I couldn't go uh, shop this week. And um, next week I'll be back for sure with another shopping trip. I want to go uh, in West Ottawa. Uh, there is a strip, uh, it's, Mar it's called Merivale Road. And on that strip there are four, and all close by, four uh, thrift stores. There's the Value Village that we all know, uh, which is in the United States. If you're wondering, it's not Goodwill. Value Village is actually Savers is in the United States, I was told. So, uh, so Value Village, there's a Salvation Army. There's a Saint Vincent de Paul, which is right next door to Salvation Army. Go figure. And then further down the road, there's a place that I've never been to and I've driven before in front of it and I was wondering, I should bring my people there for the fun of it. It's called Resource. Mm -mm, it's a catchy name. So uh, I might go there first and do the video next week at Resource, and then uh, shop at all the other places. So we'll, you know, we'll have a couple of weeks in advance of uh, of nice things to share with you. So with all that, I wish you a very nice week. And if you enjoyed uh, my content, yeah, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And uh, if you're a new viewer, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for a notification every time I upload a new video. So be safe, everyone. À la prochaine, tout le monde.